Uh, welcome back, everyone, to the Let's Play that refuses to start. I mean, honestly, this Let's Play is just oblivious to wanting to start, and it just keeps on not starting. But I think today we're finally going to get to the point where we're starting. All right, except, except, Parma. Do I really want Parma? Nah, Parma's not big enough. Okay, Bavaria, Form Alliance, except, yeah. Anyways, guys. We're back. We're finally gonna start this. I'm finally ready for it. Oh my goodness, this is taking a long, long time. Okay. And... Oh my goodness. Let's start this, guys. Let's start this. So, let's get the rights of man again. Um... And let's finally start the game! Vavilia has accepted our alliance! As if they would refuse. So... Anyways, the first thing I usually like to do in my games is usually group up all my army and just to see what I have to work with right now. What do I have to do to make good, gigantic armies? It seems like we already have some people competing with us in terms of spheres. I'm not really too worried about that. They're, they're gonna try. They're gonna do whatever they want to, but yeah, I just don't really care. All right, let's see. In terms of economy, we want to make sure we're producing a good amount of soldiers a day. 80% is good. Um, Administration-wise, we want to be about 71%, and there we go. The birth rate tumbles! Oh, shoot. Yay! That means our education efficiency is going to go up for a little bit. Huzzah! Okay, so, first things first, let's examine our army. And, wow, our army is not exactly ideal. Especially since we only have, we have 20 infantry and 4 cavalry. That's not going to cut it, so... Let's quickly fix that. Let's start making some artillery. Eight artillery um, should be in it. Should be good enough for like one of the units. But ouch, only that much. Oh yeah, there we go. Eight artillery should be enough to complete one unit of army men. Which then we should have a good, a good wayside. And I'm gonna decrease the speed just a little bit because I think it's lagging a little bit too much. Yeah, because we're only reaching about a couple frames per second, so that's not good. In fact, let me get down here. Yeah, it's about the same either way. So, yeah, next thing we should also do is start investing points into Serbia. Because I want to invade Serbia, okay? I'm going to be honest with you people. I want to invade the Serbians really badly. But before I'll be able to invade Serbia, I have to make sure that the big, gigantic green guys will not join in. Because right now they're friendly with them. And if you know anything about... Oh, sorry about that, people. Apparently there was, like, some kind of weird noise going on in the bathroom. For some reason I thought that was, like... Uh, I think it, I think it was just a drain finally like unclogging and going down, but like it was a weird sounding noise where like it sounded like somebody else was flushing a toilet. So I was like, "Who the hell is using my toilet? How they get into the house?" That was my that was my other query. Is how they get the house? But anyways, um, we have this, we have these guys who we're gonna basically gonna have to rip out of the Russian sphere, and then once they get out of the Russian sphere of influence, then we're gonna go and go destroy Serbia because. Serbia historically historically has a very bad pun in the Austrian language because they're the ones who kind of started it all and kind of started the downfall of our nation and them just being alive will cause a lot more problems than it will solve so we're just going to destroy them as quickly as possible and make them and neutralize that threat. Baden, sure, why don't we become big buddies? Let's just become buddies with everyone I know. Okay, because all you guys are all important states and I will totally not try to backstab you and try to conquer you later. That's totally not it. And you guys go over here and start forming that new army I want you guys to form. You guys go over here because I don't want to like confuse the armies already there to like pick them. Supply them wise. We need to pick a good unit, a good place for supply. Prague seems to be like the best. Modena wanted an alliance. Do I want Modena? Ah, uh, sure, we could, be a, we could be forming an alliance with them. Oh, they don't want to accept anymore. Well then, I didn't want you in my alliance sphere anyways. 
America and United States of America. Uh, ignore them, I guess, and get separatists. I guess? I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really seem like that big of a deal, to be honest. Okay, yeah, everyone just... Since we cannot support anything in our own capital, let's just move to Prague. Um, let's start this already. Start the massive construction of of major forts around my empire. Let's see, do I have enough money for it? Yes, I do. Alright, start the major construction of major forts around my empire because I want to make sure that if we were to be attacked, it would be, our nation would have it, nations would have an insanely hard time trying to keep, you know, trying to go through my land. It'd be like, ah, oh, we have to go through this again. Or, ah, oh, we're going to have to go through this again. Also, make sure you also build, build your, um, Ports, because we don't, as Austria, we really don't have that much land. So it's very important that we build up forts exclusively. And I don't actually think I have enough. Or do I have. Ah, dang it. No, I do have enough! Barely! Wow, that was close. I barely had enough for what I need to buy all the materials. That was close. So yeah, there we go. We're building up our entire land value. It's kind of cool. Um, for a little bit, I'll probably be a little bit negative, like just that little budget. A little bit of problem my budget was dealt with. Um, middle class, I'm trying not to tax too much, but uh, projected daily income is not exactly great right now. We're going to have to keep, like I said, we're going to have to keep high taxes here for a little bit. But since there's no liberal agitation right now, I don't have to care too much about taxes. Because, but I should also worry about them being too high at some point. Because, yeah, at some point, there becomes a point where I might have actually starved my people to a point where they'll never advance in the society and it'll just all remain poor class which then becomes an issue. On a plus side though, I gain lots of taxes! So it's kind of a toss up. <laughs> okay, so but anyways, you guys, um, combine to make one unit and let's see, how is my, how are my clergy doing? I think they're doing alright. This is going to be one of my major, probably going to have to divide it up even one more. Because it's just, I don't think most of my provinces can support this kind of unit, but let's see. There we go. This is going to be our first real unit. Um, not really real unit because it still has a lot of, like, um, dead men in it. But we're slowly, we're slowly phasing them out. Um, next thing we're going to have to do is get our cavalry up to date. So we get two cavalry units. We're going to go send to both of these guys to completely balance out the units. So five, two, four. That's about a good unit right there. And then from there, what we're gonna do is wait a little bit, and then we're gonna make the cannons for these guys, and then make the so then make the horsemen for these guys. And then that way we have two really good armies ready to go fight at a moment's notice. And then for right now, hmm, I could start I could start some of my plans of like Asian or colonization right now. Uh, but I kind of want to wait until we figure out what's going to happen with the Ottomans. Or police parade in Ven Vienna today and sees all across Austria the forces of law and order march through the streets decorated in the colon colors of their uniform showing to all and everyone that continue containing maintaining the common safety in the hysterical era. The police agencies have also requested a further direction for their work. How do we make the most of this event? We use the propaganda! Agenda! Agenda! Ooh, yeah. Okay, so Serbia, increased relationships with, they're now cordial with me. That's good. Um, Cardinalist Spain is still great power, so I'm not going to deal with them yet. Iberia, I want you guys on my side, so let's start investing points into you guys. Yeah, it seems like we're going a little bit into my sphere plan right now. So let's see, sphere plan again encompasses mostly, yeah, I'm trying to stick to this. So encompassing mostly the sphere plan. I'm going to try to get all of Iberia underneath my boot, but we're going to see if that's going to work. Um, are my capitalists actually building stuff right now? Yes, they are. Good job, capitalists. You guys are somewhat helpful sometimes, and you guys are somewhat helpful sometimes, and most of the time not very helpful at all. But the, do we know sometimes you guys are actually helpful? It is the greatest feeling in the world. You guys combine to make your unit. There we go. We got a good balance unit right there. There we go. We have a good balance unit right there. We're still not that strong in terms of the rest of the world. Like, it seems like we're still six in terms of power. Uh, France is beating us, and let me guess, Russia's the biggest power right now. No, they are not. Then it must be the Chinese. Yeah, it's the Chinese. Um, Great Britain, where do you rank? You rank second. So, 
What I'm guessing is that Russia's probably the biggest land European power I have to deal with. And then the rest of them are just kind of powers to contend with. Population-wise, we aren't exactly going up because right now we're going through a tumbles event. So that's kind of fine to me. I don't... For right now, I don't really care if my population goes up because it's just the beginning of the game. Okay. Crop rotation. And soon we're going to switch over the clergyman to different stuff. Um, let's see. Administrative efficiency-wise, um... Let's see. Southern... What cultures do we accept right now? At least I need to know this. Or, no, not... <laughs> We don't, this is not us, this is the Portuguese. We do not accept Portuguese into our culture. That'd be cool though, but we do not. So, let's see, what, basically the reason why I'm looking at this people is because I want to make sure, I want to see like, this is the biggest city, we do have a good amount of them. I want to see what places I can actually get to like full administrative value, so that I can use that. Okay, seems like I could probably, alright, these guys are a little bit me. Alright, um, I know probably over here we're probably going to have very little people that are actually us. Over here we have very little people that are actually us. Actually we have a good amount, there's actually a good amount of like southern German over here. So maybe we might use that place in the future. Okay, build up more men though. We need to get our cannons already. Okay, and let's see, since I also don't want to just sit here, I should also build a navy. Yeah, build like 11 clippers. So I want to make sure that if I ever need to transport anything, I have instant transportation. And Tunis is still part of the Empire. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, we're just we're waiting for a certain crisis called the Oriental Crisis to fire. So that we can choose to ally ourselves with the Egyptians and then go invade, go invade the Ottoman Empire so that then they will, like, you know, free Egypt. And that way we can instantly, like, get this. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking of. Okay, um, taxes now, since we're going a little bit high, can now be reduced. We're going to reduce it by just a little bit at a time. Because we don't want our economy to collapse. And I have seen what happens when you, like, high, when you like try to go massively in one direction or massively in the other direction. It usually never works. You want to make sure that you balance out your economy slowly but surely. Alright, you guys move right there, you guys move right there. You guys move right there, you guys move right there, sorry. And we should start to build our ships over here. Um, I think our first, since since this might be a little bit of a boring episode, I think we should probably start thinking about who we want to kind of take over. Uh, Brazil, you guys, I'm just going to invest that much into you because you guys are pretty much going to always come to me. Uh, just invest like one into them. Serbia has less influence. Ah, oh, dang. I don't have much influence right now. So let's just like, I guess I'll get Brazil later because Brazil is not going to be annexed by anyone. But like you guys, you guys. Let's see, Serbia. We're right now cordial with you guys. Let's see if I completely get out Portuguese. Oh my goodness, yeah. Let's try to get Serbia first. And then we'll start working on the Portuguese and all them. Because we have to first make sure that Serbia is underneath our boot completely. And then once they're underneath our boot completely, we declare war on them and then we go crush them. Alright, um, for expansionist reasons, we're going to wait until our ships are built, and then what I think we might do is actually go start a little bit of the uh, Asian plan. Maybe go attack Danam for unspecified reasons, just like demand a concession or, or liberate territory, I don't know. We'll start that, actually, you know, actually what we should actually do is actually go get our John Poor, John Poor provinces. Except for some reason, this game is not letting me establish a protectorate. Dang it. <laughs> wait, is that two? That, wait, that's not two regions. Oh, it is two regions in this game. Whoops. So I guess that would take a little bit more effort. Colonial education-wise, we just finished. Let's go on to... Can't get that yet. So let's get experimental railroads. That way it'll give our kind of capitalists a good something to do, I should say. Alright, we got our ships built. I think this should be enough ships for almost any type of for any type of army we're ever gonna build. The this is apparently uh, Ecuador has just formed. Kudos to them. All right, let's see. Get them all together. Get them all together. There we go. 
All right, and then let's see, there's 10, 15. There's 15 right here. I only have 11 clippers. We're going to have to build one more wave of clippers. You guys build one more wave of clippers. That should be enough clippers for the rest of the game. And then from there, let's see, we're fighting Serbia right now. So that means we can't really do much in terms of, of stuff. But what we can do is Serbia is now going to be friendly with us. Huzzah! So Serbia, you are now friendly with us. That's good. Russia doesn't seem to be investing much into them, which is good. Which is good. So what we have to do is just get to the point of decrease opinion. We're going to decrease opinion of Russia, and then we're going to declare war on Serbia. That's good. Um, Clergyman-wise, we just finished up with some of our clergymen right here. So I'm going to remove the focus. We're also going to completely add bureaucrats right here, so that we make sure that we can actually have 100% state administration efficiency in our own in our own like like capital building I mean this is our own region and we don't have a hundred percent there that's pretty bad like seriously that's pretty bad it's like it's almost like if in America if Washington was completely owned by gangsters but yeah that would never happen and that'd be kind of scary if it did happen but okay time to get it down could get down 70 60 Okay, good. I can go down three levels. That's good. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, you just... This is this is the way you actually have to play the game. You just slowly, over time, like, get down the uh, economy. You don't want to do it all at once, because otherwise it's going to crash your economy. But if you do it slowly over time, it usually works out. In terms of capitalists right now in my country, there's probably not many. But it's good enough right now to where I'm not, like, completely worrying about it. So, there we go. Let's see, we're getting more more ships being built. There should be enough ships now to get my army. And who should we fight? Let's see. We could also do uh we can also start doing our early conquest of hmm. You know, I think I'd actually want to do some of our conquest of like maybe hmm. Let's see. I think I actually yeah, I think I am gonna do it. I think I am gonna do it. I'm gonna go conquer some of this land down here, the Wari states. And establish a protectorate, at least for now. And then, Cardinalist Spain, do you mind if I, if you give me relative access? No, you guys completely hate me right now. All right, let's see. Then. Anyone over here that would love to give me military access? You guys like me, so let's see. Military access? No. Okay, let's see. All right. Then, if no one else, well, let's see. Portugal. Portugal, 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 buddy. Do you guys give military access? No. Let's see. Let's increase. Let's increase our relationships just a little bit. Um, I already started just for war vacation. Yes, I can just for war vacation. Um, good. Now what we're gonna try to do is get military access with the Portuguese. Cause we want to make sure that they that we have some ships over there. To uh. We want to basically make sure we have a port over there at first so we make sure we don't like die from like starvation or something Because that becomes really bad if you die from starvation. All right, we got 10.3 infamy. Not too bad Doesn't doesn't really bother me. That's a little bit of a small state. I have to conquer but eh. I Mean I'm not really I'm not really planning on using my infamy anytime soon at this point We're just waiting for a couple of events to fire. So yeah, it's I'm completely fine with that. Let's go right here uh, I'm gonna wait for that to get to 600. Once it gets to about 600, averagely making money, then I'll start increasing it. Um, we should also be hiring our army rate we're making. Make sure that our army is constantly supplied. Um, let's see. We're also eighth right now in terms of power, which is not good. Um, oh man, I prefer not to build. On regulars, so let's just start building regular troops. Yeah, we really need to get those regular clothes factories up and running. All right, 23. That should be enough. 23 of these guys should be enough to carry all of these men, all of them, all of them. Let's go get them on the boats. Two. Fast forward. Got them on the boats. Let's go see. We could also, in also sense, we could also go conquer like over here in Morocco just to gain their lands just to gain their like nice resources really nice resources actually hmm so many options 
That's what I love about this game, is that it does have a lot of options in terms of invasion. But I already almost got my core. Almost, I almost got my core right now, so let's just start sending these guys over here. Um, let's see, Portugal. How much more will we need? Dang, they're even more hesitant. Alright, so that's probably... Ah! Finishing up my thought, that probably means we probably won't be able to get that uh, special special little like military access. We're probably just going to have to just invade him off the coast. Hopefully I won't lose too many ships from this, but we'll see. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!